Lucas TV ahead of the last game at the Telford Ice Rink this season. So it's the Sheffield Steel Dogs. Last night the Tigers made the trip up to Sheffield. They had a convincing 5-0 win, albeit a scrappy game. Kelly's going to have a chat to one of our fans ahead of tonight's return game. I'm joined with Ben, who was at last night's game. Ben, tell us what it was like. Um, it was a very physical game. And yeah. um, I don't know, the first period was very close, I thought. Um, we went 1-0 up and then we sort of like... Then we went the second period, I thought we, we just dominated it from there on. And then, of course, that's when Sheffield got physical and, and stupid in my eyes. But uh, we ground out, we didn't uh, join, we, we just didn't, didn't bite, really. We just yeah. played our game and just got out of there. So, yeah. 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 They, got the, they got the good result in the end, so. Oh, oh definitely, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what it's five nil up now. It's, they got, what, score six unanswered goals to win and go through. So I don't think that's happening. No. no. How do you think you see um, them? sort of coming towards tonight? Mm, physical, very physical. Yeah. yeah, he's got nothing to play for now, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. We'll see, hopefully Tigers can keep the composure like they did anyway. Yes, hopefully. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you for speaking to us. And we're gonna head over to Shutty now, who's speaking to Scott McKenzie ahead of tonight's game. So, a good win last night, but quite a difficult game, I made to believe. Yeah, it was physical. We knew what was coming to us, but we managed to suck it up and to get a 5 0 league going into tonight is huge for us, so we're, yeah, we're really happy with last night. So you've just got to bear down, concentrate on getting the job done, and then next weekend, playoff finals. Yeah, we're out to win the game tonight. We don't want a loss, so we want to win the next three games and hopefully win another championship. Fantastic. Good luck with tonight's game. Thanks. Well, good evening and welcome to the second half of the playoff knockout competition in Sheffield last night. It all started 5-0 for the Telford Tigers. Calvert goes up as the Telford Tigers win the draw. Goes back D to D. Gibson lines up against Jason Silverthorne for the draw. Puck goes in. Silverthorne wins it. Goes back off the board. Zabo tips it forward. Telford still killing the penalty, so they'll dump it down ice just to kill time as the Sheffield Steel Dogs set up an offensive drive. From the left side, Gibson. Taps it forward. Weaver's going to get there first. Pulls the puck. Catches the board. Loses his footing. Sheffield send it around the back of the net. Weaver guarding that back post. Gibson just in the slot area. Sheffield sending the puck around the boards. Keeping control. Shot and goal on the power play from the Steel Dogs. It was a shot from 17. Hurst in the slot area. Just finds its way through into the back of the net to bring it back to the Steel Dogs with a 1-0 lead which is 5-1 on aggregate. Don't forget, you can pick up your tickets for the Tigers Awards Night. You can buy them online in the same way as you can game tickets. If you look at the fixtures list, the bottom fixture is the Awards Night, and you can get your tickets to join us and our celebrity presenters with the Telford Tigers. Zabo, cross ice to Silverthorne, shoots, and Sedler comes up with a great save. The rebound deflects into the corner. Now, Sheffield on the counter-attack. Intercepted well by Marcus Maynard. He waits for Zabo to clear the zone. Puts it into Silverthorne. Silverthorne shoots, the rebound comes down. Sheffield, the puck takes a deflection. Elliott picks it up. Maynard keeps it in once again at the point. Shoots from the point, into his Sheffield body. Squires takes the deflection. Salem picks up the puck, puts it in front. Zabo was there, and it took a deflection from a Sheffield player and goes into the net for the Telford Tigers' first goal, bringing it back to 1-1. Haywood turns up ice. Payette on the backhand, down low. Payette holds up and Novak's next to him. There's a combination of, I wouldn't say a stirring pot, it's more like a food mixer with them two. Novak, plant, onto the back post to Scott McKenzie and the netminder goes across with plant and McKenzie just has to fire it home into the empty net The goal number two for the Telford Tigers. Now, Cahorn driving up the right wing. Oslin, cross-ice to Squires. Squires cuts inside Zajac. 
Puck drifts into the corner. Scott angles him to the boards. Zajac clears it round. Kept in at the point by Morgan. Puck goes down. Sedler comes out the back of the net. Sheffield. Second goal was scored by number 27, assisted by 13 and 6. It was a power play goal, scored 18 minutes and 50 seconds. Off the draw. Puck goes cross ice. McKenzie, forward to Novak. Delayed to McKenzie. Novak. In front, Novak shoots, goes wide, gets a second attempt and deflects from the catching mitt up into the inside of the net. Really unfortunate that Netminder got to it. It was the second attempt from 89 that put the Tigers third goal on the clock. Andre Silverthorne intercepted the pass to Salem but battles hard to recuperate the puck from Morgan and dumps it down the ice. As we come to the end of the second period, it's the Telford Tigers three, Sheffield Steel Dogs two, which is eight two on aggregate. I'm joined with Tigers fan Matt. Matt, tell us, how long have you been a fan of the Tigers? Uh, for 17 years. So quite some time? Yeah, just a bit. And obviously it's been a fantastic season. Um, it's the last game here at the Telford Ice Rink today. What has been a highlight, if you could choose one, from this season? Um, probably the Challenge Cup win, because I was here for that, and it's just great to see the guys winning stuff. They deserve it. Definitely, they've, been played, they've played fantastically, haven't they? Yeah, it's been brilliant to watch. Good to learn from. You're a hockey player yourself? Yeah, I play for the NIHL team. Fantastic. And it must be great seeing how they've progressed and just seeing them doing so well. Yeah, it's it's really good. They, Like I said, they deserve it. They're a great bunch of guys when I've been on training with them. So it's really good. Fantastic. And tonight's game, um, obviously we've got the 5-0 advantage from yesterday and Sheffield have come out aggressively as expected. Um, from a hockey player's perspective, what do you think the, the guys should do? Um, probably try and take a few less penalties, but the ref hasn't been great so far. Um, just keep it up because like they're 7-2 two, seven two up, so they'll be fine. Keep the cool. Yeah, yeah. They, they're like really good players, so they'll, they'll be all right. And just take it into Coventry. Definitely. Uh, are you going to be heading to Coventry yourself? Uh, yeah, it conflicts with the NIHL playoffs, but I'll try and get and watch as much as I can. Well, good luck for yourself, and hopefully we'll see you at Coventry. Thank you for speaking to us. Let's take a look at the second period. Welcome to the second period. The Telford Tigers 3-2 up, which puts them... 8-2 on aggregate of the second period. Puck drops from referee Miller. Goes back to Zajac. Cross ice intercepted by 13 for the Steel Dogs. Rose and Elliott tie up. Maynard. Smith skates onto the puck. Shoots and scores! How he found that! He makes the shot. James Smith from against the boards. Sedler moves his head out of the way of the puck. And the puck goes whistling past his ear into the net for goal number four. It was an MOT Zarus even-handed goal, scored by 27, assisted by three and eight. So Taylor, across to Quiney, takes a deflection, and off R Rupert Quiney's stick, the puck dribbles past the line, past Sedler, and the Telford Tigers put the fifth goal on the clock. Smith backhands down. Novak takes it round the back of the net. He's got Maynard with him. And at the end of the second period, it's the Telford Tigers five, Sheffield Steel Dogs two, making it 10-2 on aggregate. I am joined with Sam, who's the match night coordinator at the Telford Tigers. Sam, first of all, how long have you been a fan of the Tigers? This will be my 24th season. And is that 
as a fan or also working at the club? Um, I've been following the Tigers for 24 years and this is my third season uh, as match night coordinator. It must be such a fantastic season for you, having seen the Tigers progress from where they were 24 years. It's been absolutely fantastic, absolute highlight of my life this has been. So. That's brilliant. Now, obviously it's the last game at Telford Ice Rink this season. Have you got a highlight, if you could pick one from the season? It's definitely got to be the Peterborough away game, watching the lads um, win the league. That was amazing. Very emotional night. How did you celebrate? Lots of tears and lots of um, drink, I think. <laughs> and are you going to be going to Coventry at oh, the weekend? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We go every year anyway, but to have the Tigers there this season is just going to be phenomenal. So. Definitely. Have you got a favourite player that you've been watching and thought has just been outstanding? I know it's, it's probably a hard decision. It's such a hard decision because we've got such a fantastic team this year. Um, from a youngster, I've always followed Jonathan Weaver because he's been such a legend. So I think he's got to be one of my favourite players. He's a popular choice. Oh, yeah, and how do you think you've been playing this evening? It's been quite a tough game. Uh, it's been a really tough game, to be honest. Um, having been to yesterday's game, um, they're, they're not putting up an easy fight tonight. So let's hope we go away with the win. I think they will do. Oh, thank you so much for speaking to us and we'll see you in Coventry. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the third and final period. Welcome back to the third period of ice hockey action here at the Telford Ice Rink. Telford got an 11 second power play. Quick off the mark. Tails. Payette comes across and gives a little slash to Novak. Oslin. Maynard. Maynard carries it around the back. Payette comes to line him up. Makes the hit on the boards. Novak ends up in the goal crease. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Don't play, don't, no, 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 no. I'm not sure what happened there between the netback and Novak because it was the opposite end to the play. And Payet goes and's chirping. Now he's holding his wrist as if he had his hand slashed outside the crease. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was a slash across the wrist. And the crowd are on their feet. Andre's got a nice wide smile. They both go up to centre ice to drop the gloves. Neither of them are interested in ice hockey. And everybody's on their feet. Payette walks in. They brace off. Payette swinging from a long way away. Bennett's faking. He goes in. He grabs. He comes over the right. Right and left. Bennett locks him out. He's quite close in. He's coming up with the uppercut. Bennett's forcing him towards the board. He's coming over the top and he drops down. And they're both back up. He gets another one in and Bennett's back up again. And Owen's locking him out. Payette's coming over the top. But Bennett holds him off and pushes him towards the boards. And now Bennett's got him against the boards. The linesman tap them on the back and say enough is enough. And he skates off, waving his shirt in the air as he heads towards the penalty box. Zajac drops the puck down low. McKenzie skates through to the slot. Rick Plant carries the puck, gives it to McKenzie in Gretzky's office. Looks to walk through. Just switches then into the corner. Zajac. Down to Rick Plant. Plant walks in, back post, McKenzie fires it home for the sixth goal, a textbook play, Rick Plant delays, waits, gives it to McKenzie, pops it in the empty net as Sedler was on Plant's post, another great goal as it goes to 6-2. Down low to Salem, back to Silverthorne, bounces out, it's fall to his feet. Sheffield unsure who's got the puck, but it's skated out now. Tried to backhanded nudge it through to Elliot. Bromley skates through. May not push him away. Salem and Murdy got to it, but the puck just dropped and then goes across the line. So it's a Sheffield goal, unfortunately, on Thomas Murdy. He did get to it, but it ended up in the back of the net, and it's Bromley's goal, I think. So, 
qualified for the playoffs. That was quite a difficult game going in, knowing that you were that far ahead. Yeah, I think uh, it was difficult to raise our game at times. Um, the pleasing thing is we're through, we made the final four, and you know now the real hockey starts. So, playoff weekend, next weekend. Not sure who you've got yet. If you had a choice, who would you like to have? Uh, out of the two teams, do you know, I don't know. Um, either or, we'll be playing, we'll be playing at our best. And, uh, you know, to be two games again away from, from potentially winning another championship is, is huge for the boys. And uh, every player there will be wanting to achieve the same thing. So it'll be a great weekend. It'll be a lot of fun. And, you know, that, that intensity, everything's on the line that weekend. It's, it's do or die. Um, you know, you either progress or you go home for the summer. So we've got a great group. We've got a lot of guys who played a lot of playoff hockey in the past. So I think we're standing in good stead. But it's on the day at 60 minutes. And uh, I stress to the guys today, you know, every shift, every minute is important in these games. One of the benefits that obviously you have is having the depth of those four lines, third and fourth both coming up with nice goals tonight. Yeah, great. You know, it was uh, it was a little bit flat today. Like you say, it was it was probably tough mentally going in at, uh, with a 5 nil advantage. Um, but to, to see a couple of those guys get on the sheet is really pleasing. You know, they did simple things, kept pucks going in the right areas and they got, re got rewarded. And the, the home fans must be pretty pleased when you look back at the results that you've knocked up this season. I think it's been a fantastic season for everybody, you know, from uh, a coaching point of view, uh, you know, all the guys in here, the players, it's been great for obviously the fans to, to be involved of and be involved in and, and have that behind us. Um, you know, from the whole management group, it's, it's transformed the club, so it really has been a big season.